What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at the free Spain and Argentina players. So these are highlight players. You get them with a campaign. We're going to show you how to get three of these players, right? So you get the first one just simply from logging in. It will already be in your inbox. It's a victory campaign, obviously celebrating Spain winning Euro 2024. And of course for Argentina women winning the Copa America 2024. So you're going to get to two of these. You get one spin at Spain and one spin at Argentina in your inbox. We'll just open that up here and show you who we get. Obviously it is pure random. And then you get the option to choose whether or not you want to spend and spin with coins. But we're going to show you how to get an extra two because you can see that you get the special login present, but there's also two for the teamed event. So we're going to navigate over here to the Spain winner campaign and the Argentina winner campaign event. Now this is in events here in match versus AI. It's a teamed event and we're going to go through this very quick. It doesn't matter if you've got any players in the squad. It doesn't matter. They will give you loan players. So you can just get this. You can set the match difficulty. And then if it's your first time playing any football, I know a lot of new people are playing. You can play on the lowest difficulty and just learn the mechanics of the game. Or if you want a challenge, you can play on legend. It doesn't make a difference. All you have to do on the lower difficulty is score a goal and then just like, you know, you can go AFK and just let the, let the, the match play out. Or you can play it up straight up and have the challenge. But anyway, long story short, you're going to clear this event. It will open up the second part of this. And then you will have another free spin when you win this one. So it's rinse and repeat again. And that is the same for the Argentina pack as well within the same section here. So once you've both of those cleared, we're actually going to show you exactly who we get. And we're also going to be doing a training guide on all of the players. There's five players in total, each for Spain, as you see here. And of course, we're going to have five for Argentina. So we spin here. I think Yamal is probably the only one worth actually training up in this. And I'm going to show you my build for him in a second. We don't actually get him within our three free spins. So we do need to spin for him with coins. And you've got a 50-50 chance once you've got your freebies out of the way. We will decide to get Yamal in a second because I do think he's a beast, right? And we don't have enough coins there. So yeah, we'll see. We're going to have to earn some coins in the other events and comes back because I'm not going to top up. But anyway, once you have all of these players opened up, right, you will be left with two players in each box. Now I'm going to show you the bills for all of these in just a second. I'm just clearing this out here first to show you who I got on my spins because I know people will ask. But we don't get Messi and we don't get Yamal, who are probably the only two that people will want. The rest of the players in this, as I'll show you here in my review and my training guide of these, it's not that these players are bad, man. You know, Konami give a lot of freebies. We've got two left in that box there, and we've got two left in the Spanish box as well. So we're actually going to sign Yamal here. Spoiler alert, we do get him. It's a 50-50 shot. We only had him or Laporte back in the box still. The rest of the three players we had got. So I'm actually happy enough with getting this young lad. I mean, he's a beast, lads. He's an absolute beast. In the Euros, he was fantastic. He's only 16 years of age. I mean, it's it's ridiculous the talent levels this guy can go to. And I think he will be one to watch in the future. If Konami were smart, man, they would definitely partner up with him, I think, in another year or two. But anyway, that's another day's story. Now, he is off the rip 86 overall. Now, we're going to show you two different builds. The first build we're going to show you is one that I think is more of an all-rounder that you can kind of switch him around, use him as a super sub. If you're, you know, looking to just get him into your squad and you've got a fairly set starting 11, this is the build that we've gone for here with him. You've got a bit of shooting, a bit of passing, a lot of dribbling and dexterity, obviously, with speed and acceleration. And the rest of it is just going to be a bit of stamina and speed. Now, I think this is probably the best overall build for him if you're looking to have him playing right mid to right wing or you're looking to bring him on as an impact sub that can just kind of see out the game also you will need to give him additional skills with this and you will need to play for his ai playing style it's got a lot of those so maybe you know a couple of passing skills and a couple of things like that the free reset is still ongoing at the time of this video and this is the ultimate build that we're going to go with dribble and 10 dexterity 12 and lower body 5 that is going to give us a true beast. Now, he's not going to have the shooting, but you can overcompensate for the shooting with his player skills that you can train him up. And this is going to be a beast. 90 ball control, 98 dribbling, 90 balance, 99 acceleration. Fantastic. And as I said, you can overcompensate with the skills by training different skills with him or if you have a couple of skills that you have there. If you're a newcomer, I've got a video on that. Now, the rest of the squad, lads, and the rest of the squads of players here, the players or the selection of players here, just to give a quick run through of these, right? There's a missing link between all of these, right? Danny Almo's a really good player, but he's lacking a little bit of speed and pop for that midfield. Marc Cucurella is a very, very good left back if you're looking for an attacking midfielder, or an attacking left back, I should say. Um, and Fabian Ruiz as an attacking midfielder is not bad either, except he's got a lack of pace. 
All of these cards, right, when you look at the build there, you can see the build in the bottom left hand of the screen there um, with the training on eFootballDB.com. It is updated. I think they're going to work on a big update for eFootball 2025. Um, but you can see the stats here that they go a certain level, but I don't really recommend any of these. If you've been playing the game longer for, you know, than two months, even a month, I would say that, the, you know, they are free players, obviously. They are free players, and that's brilliant, but you're not going to be getting, you know, even mid-game level players from these. There's just so many good free players out there. You know, none of the free players are, compare with Costa Corta, who's a freebie from the penalty kick save, for example. But it depends on your perspective of when you get these players. They're the training guides for all the Spanish players. And then, of course, it's all about Messi and the rest of the players here in the Argentina selection. Uh, Alvarez is there as well. Julian Alvarez. Lissandro Martinez is actually a bit of a surprise package. I'm just blitzing through this to show you their skills. There's a lot of skills missing on these cards. I mean, Paredes is a very, very good skill-based card, but he's quite slow. Messi, there's been a lot of different versions of Messi out. This isn't a bad one, but again, he's got that lack of, lack of speed. He is a center forward, so it's not a bad option, but you probably already have Messi. Alvarez is quite nice as well. He's got good popping action if you're playing him as a kind of a pick and pop um, player, touch and go. Lissandro Martinez. Try this build for Martinez, lads. He will surprise you. With the way the jumping is in the game at the moment, this guy is an absolute monster. I've played a couple of games with him. And then, of course, you have Akuna Matata from the Lion King. He is a beast, lads. That's what I call him, Akuna Matata, because he's always, always ready for action, this guy. And then, of course, we have our anchorman at the back as well. So there are all the training guides. Feel free to pause the video if you want. But let me know what you guys think of this new format as well. Look, they're free players, right? You know what you're going to be getting from free players. They're not going to be able to compare with the showtime or the end game level players. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. If you like the training guides and you like this format back, I know a few people were asking for the training guides. And obviously on eFootballDB, they don't have the manager boost, but you would have seen with Yamal there, it's pretty much going to be plus two or three with any stat over 85 for attacking players or defensive players with their, you know, designated stats. So that is how you train them up without the manager boost. And then I think it's an extra addition. So that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you in a little bit. Peace.